So here you can see we have the adaptive drum magazine. It comes in five different varieties. We've got Glock, we've got High Kappa, we've got 1911, we've got M9, and we've got the M4 type, which is a WE style magazine. Now these are all pretty much the same in the way they fit and function compared to their respective versions. So they all fill up the same way, they all wind the same way. The only thing that's different is what's connected to the top and what, what it goes into. So now that out of the way, I'm going to get all this to one side and we're going to look at one a little bit closer because apart from the top uh, shape of which they, which pistol or which rifle they suit, internally they're pretty much all the same. So let's get the others out of the way and focus on just one of these adaptive drum magazines. So the first thing you'll notice about picking one of these things up is just how well these things are made. Um, it's a very simple way that this thing functions. You fill in the gas from the bottom, you fill in the BBs from one of the side top sections here, you wind it from the front and then you insert the magazine as if, as if you would on your normal uh, pistol or rifle. Um, like what they did here with the colour scheme with the black and red, however if red is not your style they're going to be coming out with some different coloured sections here so you can switch them out for black or or other colours. So the nitty gritty details about these things, um, like I said before they come with the shot proof pads which are uh, interchangeable when Armour Works obviously release them. Uh, they have a 350 round capacity uh, drum which you fill in from the side and you just wind up and then literally you'll just keep winding it until your BBs run out. It doesn't have a bolt stop function because there's nothing, no spring system in the magazine to give it that. Uh, it's like I say, it's a manual winding system. Um, and these things, so I'm told, are very easy to strip apart and, and maintain and bits and pieces like that. So first let's go through how we fill this thing up. So we've got the drum mag, and we've got some Aries branded 0.25 BBs. Always recommend using high quality BBs in anything that you're using. Um, and we'll see how easy this is, because the window to fill the BBs into the magazine isn't the biggest, so we'll see how many we spill here. Literally just open the door. Quite a few. <laughs> Let's do it this way. And what you want to do is put a few BBs in the drum itself, and then what you're going to do is wind until the BBs hit the top of the magazine, and then you can go ahead and give it a full wind if you want to. And you can do this very easily by just running your finger alongside one of these flat edges. Or well, they do have these little dimples in the wheel, so you can use your finger like that. Whichever is most comfiest to yourself. And I'm just going to keep winding this until it clicks, and then you stop. And you'll see there's some, a bit more space in here for some more BBs. So we're going to carry filling this up, so I'll just do this off camera. And that is full. So we're full of 350 BBs, and then the next thing we want to do is put the gas in this thing. So supposedly these things take a lot of gas, so you're just going to have to keep filling it until there are required amounts in there. So just flip it up like a normal gas magazine, take your gas. Don't know if you can hear that on camera, but you can still hear it filling. Still going. Still going. We're still going. I don't know how many seconds this is so far. So here it's starting to get to the top. And that's how long you want to take, and that might be a bit long winded and not the most exciting footage in the world, but uh, that's how long you want to take from this thing up the gas. Now we're going to do a shooting test here, um, I just want to stress how cold it is. So we've actually got one of the new Armour Works uh, Glock 18C style pistols, this is the VX series. So we're going to use this, and we've got a normal uh, magazine that it comes with, so I'm just going to fill this up now. And we have 
the standard magazine is quite bright there because it's quite reflective. So we're going to get some specs on and we're going to shoot this thing. So safety specs on because safety first, you don't want to get hit in the eye. Um, and we're first of all we're going to shoot this thing with a standard magazine just to show you the difference between the two. Obviously there's going to be a big difference but uh, for hey -ho, for filming purposes. Um, it is really cold in here. It's probably running about 2 degrees, perhaps a little bit less. It is snowing outside so it's very very cold. So we'll see how this pistol performs in the cold temperature anyway. And we are loaded so this is single shot. So, as you can see, we are struggling. It is really cold in here. So it's going to be a good representation in the cold weather how it's going to be. And we're just gassing out. So let's put, try the drum magazine now and see if there's any difference. Like I say, it's great shooting this thing in a warm room. Um, I've seen them firing this thing in obviously the factory where they shoot it, probably in Taiwan or somewhere, which is great, but for us here in the UK, it's not a great representation of the weather that we get and that we normally have to deal with. So, let's see if we get the same result with the drum mag. Now, you'd think this thing being so bulky, um, it'd really weigh the pistol down, but it's actually not that bad straight away no splash of gas on the back of my hand or at the front as much so straight away you can see that this magazine is coping with the cold and that's basically because all the liquid gas is held in the magazine and it's got a chance to expand into the magazine and it's a gas when it's coming out instead of being a liquid as we saw with the standard mag. That's not retrospect to how good this pistol performs because these pistols are very, very good in the right temperatures. It's just, you know, checking the uh, the thermostat, probably about minus one in this room. It is that cold, I can honestly see your breath. So um, we got through a little bit of the magazine before I had to put some more gas in, but uh, we're gonna keep going here. And let's do some full auto. Get that mag of wine. So uh, the pistol, I think it's not the magazine, the magazine isn't that cold, but the pistol is cooling down some. Just a weather thing, it happens, if you can see the, the frost that's building upon the pistol there. But it is super, super cold. So what I might try and do is see if we can get into a warmer room and, uh, and carry on filming. So we're back. Um, I've managed to get the room a little bit warmer. Uh, we're now sitting about 6-7 degrees. So. Not much, but uh, what can you do? It's the middle of winter. Um, so I've just let this get back to room temperature, uh, same as the magazine as well. And we're just gonna carry on. So single shot. Same as before, it's fine on single shot. A little bit better now that the room is warmer. I haven't filled this back up with gas, it's still on the, the same uh, fill. Look how we're doing. Oh, we've still got plenty of BBs in there.
Irish stars are going out of gas. And we are pretty much out of gas. So, how many have we got left? Probably say what's in the mag, probably about 100 rounds. So we've got about 250 rounds out of it on one fill of green gas. And all I can say is for such cold temperatures, it performs great. I mean, this mag, what we've got about 10, 15 rounds out of before it completely froze up. So although it might not be the best firing demonstration um, in warmer climates and probably what this is going to be best used for in the summer, um, I think it's a great demonstration for how this thing performs in the very, very cold. So uh, we have these on the website. We have them in all the different flavors like I showed you before. Uh, for this and many other uh, standard and bespoke products, go to our website, bespokeherself.co.uk. And you can also follow us on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. So we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Thank <laughs> you.